In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, in communion with the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we gather this afternoon to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us prepare ourselves to receive these sacred mysteries by first calling to mind our faults, our failings, asking God to fill us with love, mercy, and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Enable us, we pray, Almighty God, to proclaim the power of the risen Lord, that we who have received the pledge of his gift may come to possess all he gives when it is fully revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The whole group of believers was united, heart and soul. No one claimed for his own use anything that he had, as everything they owned was held in common. The apostles continued to testify to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus with great power, and they were all given great respect. None of their members was ever in want, as all those who owned land and houses would sell them and bring the money from them to present it to the apostles. It was then distributed to any members who might be in need. There was a Levite of Cypriot origin called Joseph, whom the apostles surnamed Barnabas, which means the son of encouragement. He owned the piece of land and he sold it and brought the money and presented it to the apostles. This is the word of the Lord. The Lord is king with majesty enrobed. The Lord uh, is king with majesty enrobed. The Lord is king with majesty enrobed. The Lord has robed himself with might. He has girded himself with power. The Lord is king with majesty enrobed. The world you made firm not to be moved. Your throne has stood firm from all, from old. From all eternity, O Lord, you are. The Lord is king with majesty enrobed. Truly your decrees are to be trusted. Holiness is fitting to your house. O Lord, until the end of time. The Lord is king with majesty enrobed. Alleluia. 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 You, O Christ, are the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead. You have loved us and have washed away our sins with your blood. Alleluia. Alleluia. 
the Son of Man. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, Do not be surprised when I say, You must be born from above. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. That is how it is with all who are born of the Spirit. How can that be possible, asked Nicodemus. You, a teacher in Israel, and you do not know these things, replied Jesus. I tell you most solemnly, we speak only about what we know and witness only to what we have seen, and yet you people reject our evidence. If you do not believe me when I speak about things in this world, how are you going to believe me when I speak to you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who came down from heaven, the Son of Man who is in heaven. And the Son of Man must be lifted up as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert so that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon. My name is Father Chris Luby. I'm from Watertown, New York, uh, United States of America. With me is um, my deacon assistant, uh, Deacon Kevin uh, Mastelon, and uh, it's an honor and a privilege uh, to, to be here with you this afternoon on these holy grounds, Fatima, um, with each and every one of you from all corners of the world. And I, I thank the staff of the, of the Basilica here, uh, the Shrine, uh, for your hospitality, for allowing us to be here today to celebrate with you. Oxygen, air. Oxygen and air, that's probably the, the most powerful element, the po most powerful force on earth. Without air, we don't have fire, right? And if we don't have fire, we can't heat our homes, hot water for showers, we can't run our cars, we wouldn't be able to, to light those same candles that we lit last night during the, the rosary procession that we, that we had here just last night. Sometimes, uh, you know, that, that air, I, I experienced that last night, that the, sometimes during that procession that the air was so powerful that it blew out my candle. So, which also reminded me that air can be destructive. We see that in, in storms, powerful Rainstorms, thunderstorms, hurricanes, tornadoes, that the air can be destructive. It can tear down buildings, trees. It can kill people. And yet that, that same force, that oxygen, that air that, that gives life to fire and also can take away life and be destructive can also give life. Without air, we can't breathe. If we can't breathe, we die, right? I learned that just recently. Uh, about a month or two ago, I, I realized that every morning that I, when I got up, when I woke up from, from what I thought was a night's rest, I was still tired. And I didn't have any energy. I felt lethargic. I didn't have enough energy to get through the day and do my work. And so I went to the doctor, and I told her my, my symptoms. I told her, you know, doctor, I, when I wake up in the morning, I just don't feel rested. And then she asked me, well, do you snore? And I said, you know, I don't know because I'm single. I'm not married. I don't know if I snore or not. She says, well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to have you take a sleep test. So I took the sleep test, and sure enough, I do snore at night. And not only do I snore, but oftentimes throughout the night, I stop breathing. 
So to make a long story short, I wasn't getting enough oxygen at night. I wasn't breathing. And that's why I was cranky and tired and irritable. I didn't have enough energy to get through the day. Not enough oxygen, not enough sleep it affected my sleep. We need oxygen to live. And now life is better now for me. And yet, you know, oftentimes when I, when I pick up the newspaper or I, I watch the television news, I get those same feelings that I did before I, uh, I was diagnosed with sleep apnea. I wasn't getting enough oxygen. Watching, hearing the news about war and famine and evil in the world, terrorism, I think you all know what I'm talking about. I still had those fa same feelings, anger, disappointment, lack of energy, sadness. You probably share those feelings with me. Which tells me, I think the world needs more oxygen, doesn't it? The world needs more air. And there's only one person that can give us that air, that life, that can breathe joy and hope and peace in the world. And that is Jesus, right? Through the Holy Spirit, the breath of life, his breath. And I think it's no coincidence that the scriptures call the breath of God pneuma, which means air, which means breath, the Holy Spirit. And that, quite simply, is the message of our Blessed Mother, spoken to those three shepherd children right on this very spot, isn't it? The world needs to turn to her son and ask for his breath, his life, the love, the joy, the peace that only Jesus and Jesus alone can give us through his breath. How do we get that breath? How do we allow Jesus to breathe into us his Holy Spirit? Uh, quite obviously, it's through prayer, right? Praying to him, praying to the Holy Spirit. Our Blessed Mother said here, on this very spot, that we need to pray the rosary every day, praying for peace, that peace that only her son can give us through the Holy Spirit. And we can get that spirit also, most especially doing what we're doing right now, celebrating the Eucharist, hearing the word of God, and receiving Jesus through that most special gift, the best gift that he could ever give us, the Eucharist, his body and his blood, so it can feed us so that we could be the people that he wants us to be. What a great opportunity that we, we have here today on these holy grounds to allow Jesus to, to breathe into us his Holy Spirit. So those fruits of peace and joy and love and knowledge can grow within us so that we can go back to our places throughout the world and breathe those fruits, breathe that same spirit into the lives around us at home, at work, wherever we go. So that the Lord's wish, the wish for this world may come true, that we do grow in his peace. So take a few moments at this time to close your eyes, Bow your heads, take a deep breath, and breathe in the air around us. And not just the air that, that makes us live, but the breath of the Holy Spirit, the breath of Jesus himself, so that we do become the people that he wants us to be. Amen.
Let us stand and pray for the needs of our world, our church, and for one another. For all the faithful, that by obeying the appeals of Mary in the spirit of true penance and prayer, they may work wholeheartedly for the renewal of the world and for the kingdom of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord. For those who exercise sacred ministry in the church, that they be attentive to the word of God, love it and proclaim it with fidelity and enthusiasm as Mary did, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who govern nations, that they may work for justice and peace in the world and harmoniously collaborate in the just distribution of earthly goods among the inhabitants of the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who suffer, that in union with Mary, counselor of the afflicted, and in the contemplation of the cross of Christ, they may find courage of life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us here and for our families, that by the intercession of Mary, those who seek Christ may find him, sinners may be converted, Young people may be open to their hearts with enthusiasm to the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we ask you to hear all of our prayers and to answer us in the name of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, a work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, Blessed be God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, Blessed be God forever. forever. And the spirit of country and hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice and your sins this day be pleasing to you, O God. Lord, wash away our iniquity and cleanse us from all of our sins. Let us pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make ours and attend our offerings to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, our spouse, and with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and all your saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for help, unfailing help. With the sacrifice of a reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Antonio, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There, we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Joining together our hearts and our voices, let us pray in the words that our Savior Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, both now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on our faith, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for faith in your mercy and love. I eat your body and I drink your blood. Let it not bring us condemnation, but health and mind. Behold, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. At this time, uh, if you have any religious objects with you, uh, please raise them up in the air. I would be very uh, happy and honored to, uh, to bless them for you. Through the intercession of uh, our Blessed Mother, Our Lady of Fatima, uh, may Almighty God bless these religious objects, these rosaries, these images uh, that remind us that we are loved and protected by God now and always, wherever we go, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. The Lord be with you. Amen. Please bow your heads and pray for the Lord's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he look upon you with kindness and give you his peace. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Ave, Ave.